सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैड सीन वॉट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मीन्स एंड ऑन वॉट ऑल वेरियस फैक्टर्स दस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिपेंड सो वी हैड सीन दैट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिपेंड्स ऑन द मास ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू बी स्पेसिफिक एक्चुअली ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिपेंड्स ऑन द मास ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट द हाइट एट विच द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड एंड द ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन और द एक्सेलरेशन बाई विच समथिंग फॉल्स सो वी हैड डिस्कस दैट एवरीथिंग फॉल एट द सेम रेट एंड दे फॉर एवरीथिंग हैज़ द सेम ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन सो दे आर द थ्री थिंग्स ऑन विच द ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी डिपेंड्स नाउ लेट एस मूव ऑन टू काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो काइनेटिक एनर्जी एज डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर इज द एनर्जी स्टोर्ड इन मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स और द एनर्जी इन एन ऑब्जेक्ट बाई वर्च्यू ऑफ इट्स मोशन सो थिंग्स दैट मूव फॉर एग्जाम्पल कार्स मूविंग बसेज मूविंग ट्रक्स ऑल हैव काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ कार हिट्स यू द वर्क दैट द कार डज ऑन यू इज ड्यू टू इट्स काइनेटिक एनर्जी बिकॉज इट हैज़ काइनेटिक एनर्जी और द एनर्जी और द अबिलिटी टू डू सम वर्क करेक्ट सो नाउ लेट इस लुक एट द वेरियस फैक्टर्स ऑन विच काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट और एनी बॉडी डिपेंड्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी वॉट इज द वॉट इफ वॉट हैपन्स यू नी चेंज द मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट ऑन द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट So you just now saw that we took three different balls: a table tennis ball, a sp sponge volley ball, and a football. And obviously, the football had the largest mass, maximum mass, and the table tennis had the least mass, or it was the uh, lightest. And we very well saw that the table tennis could not even move the uh, bottle, uh, and it could not do much work on the water bottle. Whereas the sponge ball, it 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 did not bring in much motion. it could just wobble it or maybe make it fall down but yeah it could not do much work but yeah obviously did more work than the ball and therefore the sponge ball had more uh, kinetic energy than the table tennis ball although all the three balls the football the table tennis ball and the sponge ball were moving with the same velocity the last one was the football so the football was also moving at the same velocity but it had a much larger mass and due to that it was able to push the uh, water bottle with a very large amount of force and thus did a larger amount of work on the water bottle so we see that larger objects or objects with more mass moving at the same velocity have larger kinetic energy so kinetic energy is proportional to mass now let us see the effect of velocity on kinetic energy of a body so here we go right now we just saw that a slower football could not push the water bottle to that uh, larger distance and also could not exert a large amount of force whereas if we took a moving foot a moving football that is moving with a very high velocity it could push the football it could push the bottle with a very large amount of force and thus did a larger amount of work and obviously we increase the velocity of the football by a very small uh, amount but the effect the amount of work it could do got increased uh, by a much larger amount and we so from that we can actually infer and um, obviously this is not a very good proof but we can get the idea that um, kinetic energy is proportional to the square of velocity why we will not get into that for now but yeah it is proportional to the square of velocity so if velocity uh, goes from 2 to 4 okay um it doubles 
so the kinetic energy actually increases by four times because it is proportional to the square of velocity and let's not get into that but yeah the basic idea is as velocity increases the kinetic energy of the object increases faster moving objects have more kinetic energy 